वेलकम बैक गाइस नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट एंटी एरिथमिक ड्रग्स ओके एंटी एरिथमिक ड्रग्स इन द नेम इटसेल्फ इट्स वेरी क्लियर दे आर एंटी एरिथमिक व्हेनेवर देयर आर एरिथमियास स्पेशली व्हेनेवर देयर आर टैकी एरिथमियास व्हेनेवर द हार्ट रेट इज सो मच व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू डिक्रीज द हार्ट रेट ओके फॉर दैट वी आर हैविंग सर्टेन ग्रुप ऑफ ड्रग्स व्हिच आर डिवाइडेड इनटू क्लास 1 2 3 4 एंड 5 सो दीस ड्रग्स आर कॉल्ड एज एंटी एरिथमिक ड्रग्स okay they will control the arrhythmias and bring back the rhythm to normal the classification which we are following for the antiarrhythmic drugs are wagen williams classification okay see wagen williams classification of antiarrhythmic drugs according to wagen williams classification there are especially five different types of classes okay now class 1 antiarrhythmic drugs include okay class 1 antiarrhythmic drugs include sodium channel blockers they blocks the sodium channels now think logically guys now whenever you block the sodium channels what happens do you think now normal depolarization occurs in the ventricular myocardial cells no please concentrate here the black color curve which i am showing you the black color graph which i am showing you is a normal action potential of the ventricular myocardium but whenever you block the sodium channels now it will take lot of time for the depolarization to happen so automatically what happen now it's taking lot of time for the depolarization happens so automatically now it will take a lot of time for the action potential now when there is a lot of time for the action potential what what will happen to the heart rate heart rate decreases okay now the sodium entry into the ventricular myocardium is not happening fastly why because the sodium channels are blocked now it will take a lot of time for the sodium to enter into the ventricular myo uh, ventricular myocytes it will take a lot of time for the depolarization to happen so phase 1 please concentrate phase 1 which was supposed to be steep like this now what is happening there is a decrease in the slope slope there is a decrease in the slope the depolarization phase is now falling like this now it will take a lot of time for the depolarization to happen so automatically heart rate decreases okay now class 1 are sodium channel blockers important point is again this class 1 is further divided to subclasses class 1a class 1b class 1c what are the examples of class 1a sir class 1a include the drugs include procainamide quinidine and disopiramide okay important procainamide is a class 1a sodium channel blocker quinidine is a class 1a sodium channel blocker now why do we have again the subclasses it's because see these are sodium channel blockers no doubt sodium channel blockers but class 1a are also potassium channel openers sorry potassium channel blockers both the sodium channel blockers as well as potassium channel blockers so that's why depolarization is affected as well as see repolarization is also affected both are affected the depolarization is moving see from here the depolarization is moving as well as see repolarization also taking a lot of time okay so both sodium channel blockers as well as potassium channel blockers so depolarization is affected as well as repolarization is affected so automatically heart rate comes down heart rate decreases okay tell me guys sodium sorry class 1a anti arrhythmic drugs are both sodium channel blockers as well as potassium channel blockers okay now what are the important points see action potential duration the duration of action potential is automatically increased please concentrate now it's taking a lot of time for the action potential normally here the action potential is starting here the action potential is ending okay this is something normal but now what is happening it's taking a lot of time for the action potential to happen so that's why heart rate decreases now see action potential duration is increased important point is whenever you block the potassium channels now in ecg it will reflect in the form of qt prolongation qt interval is going to be prolonged okay qt interval is going to be prolonged and whenever the qt prolongation happens that will cause that will specifically cause an arrhythmia which is called as torsa d point is now in your exam this is a very important mcq which of the following anti arrhythmic drugs of course these are anti arrhythmic drugs but sometime they can cause torsa d point is torsa d point is due to qt prolongation due to qt prolongation now when you will have qt prolongation if you block the potassium channels if you block the potassium channels that will cause qt prolongation qt prolongation will cause torsa d point is never ever forget class 1a anti arrhythmic drugs will cause torsa d point is again there is one more anti arrhythmic drug which causes the torsa d point is we'll discuss later okay now let's talk about class 1b anti arrhythmic drugs okay which includes lidocaine mexilocaine and phenytoin please concentrate here see sodium channel blocker they are sodium channel blocker that's why depolarization phase is little bit moving towards the right okay the slope is little bit decrease but please look at the 
repolarization so repolarization is happening very fastly repolarization is happening very fastly so what happened to the action potential duration action potential duration is actually decreased actually decreased so they will ask you in your exam which are the following anti arrhythmic drugs decreases the action potential duration it is class 1b anti arrhythmic drugs example phenytoin mexilidine uh, phenytoin mexilidine and lidocaine now see decrease in the action potential duration important point about the lidocaine is we all know lidocaine is a local anesthetic now this lidocaine it is the drug of choice for post myocardial infarction uh, ventricular tachycardia okay see post myocardial infarction ventricular tachycardia after myocardial infarction okay the patient is having right now myocardial infarction after myocardial infarction if he develops arrhythmia especially the ventricular tachycardia then the drug of choice is lidocaine this is the favorite question in the exam so that's why i just kept it here lidocaine is the drug of choice for post myocardial infarction ventricular tachycardia now 1c so class 1c include anakinide flaconide and propofen uh, uh, now he please concentrate here See, sodium channel blocker it's a sodium channel blocker that's why phase 0 is affected phase 0 depolarization is affected now the slope is now decreased but look at the repolarization there is no effect on repolarization there is no effect on repolarization which means there is no effect on potassium channels okay so potassium channels are neither, neither closed nor open so important point is see class 1c antiarrhythmic drugs they are sodium channel blockers but there is no effect there is no effect on potassium channels okay there is no effect on potassium channels action potential have started here ended at the same time so there is not much difference in the action potential duration important points flaconide see here flaconide is there right so what are the important points about the flaconide flaconide is the drug of choice for prophylaxis of wbw syndrome so there is a disease called as there is a syndrome or disease called as wolf parkinson white syndrome okay wolf parkinson white syndrome now what happens in wolf parkinson white syndrome for example see if this is the heart i am showing the heart in a very simple way see here is a sa node here is the av node okay normally action potentials have to come from the sa node to the av node from the av node action potentials have to go to the bundle of his from here right bundle branch left bundle branch and purkinje fibers but what happens what is the problem with wpw syndrome in wpw syndrome there is an aberrant conduction pathway or abnormal pathway is seen okay there is an aberrant conduction okay accessory pathway is seen which is conducting the action potentials from atria to ventricles and even sometimes from ventricles to atria okay there is this aberrant circuit present which is conducting the action potentials okay this is called as a bundle of kent b u n d l e bundle of kent okay so whenever there is this accessory pathway so because of the abnormal conduction of the action potentials it will cause arrhythmias it will trigger the arrhythmias okay so for the profile axis okay for drug of choice for profile axis of wbw syndrome whenever if you think that i am the patient who is having wbw syndrome so i will be having tachycardias okay i will be having tachycardias because of that aber aberrant conduction pathway so i will feel palpitations now to prevent such episodes to prevent such ep episodes what is the drug that i should take what is that anti arrhythmic drug that i should take the drug of choice is flaconide okay the drug of choice is flaconide i have to take flaconide to prevent that episodes but once if that episode is already there okay right now there is an acute attack of that episode okay i am having the palpitations right now because of the aberrant conduction now the drug of choice for an acute episode is iv procainamide where we have studied procainamide guys don't forget procainamide is class 1a anti arrhythmic drug okay class 1a anti arrhythmic drug that is the procainamide so procainamide iv is the drug of choice for an acute episode but if they ask you what is the treatment of choice okay the final treatment the final treatment is ablation you have to destroy this conduction aberrant conduction that is a radio frequency ablation this was a question asked in one of the exam so what is the treatment of choice for wpw syndrome that is a radio frequency ablation you are you are just frying up the aberrant conduction pathway okay so with this we have completed the class 1 anti arrhythmic drugs okay now if you know class 1 anti arrhythmic drugs class 2 class 3 class 4 are like easy peasy now let's see the class 2 anti arrhythmic drugs the class 2 anti arrhythmic drugs are beta blockers beta blockers okay see class 1 are class 1 are sodium channel blockers now these are beta blockers now class 1 that is 1a 1b and 1c where they are acting they are acting on the ventricular myocardium 
not on the SEO note, they are acting on the ventricular myocardium. Right now, these beta blockers. Now, where they are going to act? They are going to act on the SA node. We have studied SA nodal action potential can be influenced by sympathetic nervous system as well as parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system, it will increase the CAMP levels. Okay, it opens the it opens the leaky sodium channels. We have discussed, right? So, guys, please see now class. Two, class 2 anti earthquake drugs are they are beta blockers. What are the examples of beta blockers? Proper, propranolol, esmolol, anything which ends with the letter lol, okay, with the word lol, propranolol, esmolol, adenolol, all these drugs, okay, they are beta blockers. Now, whenever this beta receptor is blocked, remember, let me show you, this is a SA node, okay, this is an SA node, the pacemaker of heart. Now, on the SA node, which receptors are sitting? Beta 1 adrenergic receptors are sitting, okay, sympathetic receptors are there. Normally, sympathetic receptors, what they will do? They increase the heart rate. They increase the heart rate. But what are these drugs? Propranolol and esmolol. These are the blockers, beta 1 blockers. So, these receptors are blocked. Whenever these receptors are blocked, now what happens? Now, noradrenaline or epinephrine. Okay, epinephrine or norepinephrine, they cannot act on the SA node. Simple. Now, when they cannot act on the SA node, what will happen? The IF channels or i should say the funny sodium channels now the funny sodium channels are they open or closed the funny sodium channels they are now not properly open now it will take a lot of time now it will take a lot of time for the entry of sodium into the cell it will take a lot of time for the entry of sodium into the cell so what happened to the phase zero what happened to the sorry what happened to the phase four okay that rest, restless membrane potential what happens now it's taking a lot of time for the restless membrane potential to attain the threshold. Now please look at this image guys. The black one is absolutely normal. Okay, here the black one is the action potential phase. This is phase 4, phase 0 depolarization, phase 3 repolarization. But whenever you use beta blockers, propranolol, esmolol, what happens? Now see, phase 4 is taking a lot of time. Okay, now action depolarization, repolarization is happening. So, action potential duration increases. So, heart rate decreases. Okay. So, important points about the small Where we use small this drug? To control which type of arrhythmia, sir? Small will control atrial fibrillation rate control. Actually, in atrial fibrillation, when we are discussing about atrial fibrillation, there are a lot of drugs which you used to use. Okay. There are a lot of drugs which you need to use. Uh, like, you know, the, uh, the drugs which will control the rate control, drugs controlling the rhythm control, drugs which are anticoagulants. Right? Because atrial fibrillation will cause clots in the atria. Okay. We have to use different, different drugs. But anyway, propranolol, esmolol, these are the drugs which are used to control the rate, rate in the atrial fibrillation. Okay. Now, there is also one more drug which is called as a Vrapamil. Vrapamil will also be used in uh, controlling the rate of atrial fibrillation. Later, later I will discuss with you. But if you want to see here, please concentrate. Vrapamil is also used to control the rate in atrial fibrillation. Along with Vrapamil, Esmolol can also be used. Okay, now let's come back to the topic. Class 3 anti arrhythmic drugs. Class 3 anti arrhythmic drugs which includes potassium channel blockers. Potassium channel blockers. Okay, potassium channels are blocked. You should think about something. Whenever you block the potassium channels, what happens? QT interval is going to be prolonged. When QT interval is prolonged, that causes which type of arrhythmia? Torsadi point is sir. Okay, don't forget. So, class 3 anti-arrhythmic drugs are potassium channel blockers, which includes drugs like amiodarone, dofetilide, ibutilide, sotalol. See, sotalol, lol. Lol means beta blocker. Then why we are keeping it here? See, sotalol. Yes, it's a beta blocker, but it is also a potassium channel blocker. Okay, when compared to the beta blocker activity, potassium channel activity is more, more. So, that's why we are keeping it under class 3 anti-arrhythmic drugs. So, what are the examples of class 3 anti-arrhythmic drugs? Which includes amiodarone, dofetilide, ibutilide and sotalol. Important point, sotalol have both class 3 as well as class 2 actions. It's a beta blocker. Now, see, as it's a Potassium channel blocker, okay, as these drugs are potassium channel blocker, they will affect which phase of action potential in ventricular myocardium? They will affect phase 3, repolarization. They will affect repolarization phase. So, now see, it's taking a lot of time for repolarization. Black is normal. Now, it's taking a lot of time for the process of repolarization. So, what happens? Action potential duration increased. 
heart rate decreases. You can control the heart rate. You can decrease the heart rate. What are the important points? See, action potential duration is increased. Okay, I have already explained to you. These drugs they will increase the QT interval. They will cause QT prolongation. That will cause torsory point is important points about the amiodarone. Amiodarone is a wide spectrum antiarrhythmic drug. Actually, to speak, amiodarone is a sodium channel blocker. It's a beta blocker. It's a calcium channel blocker. It's a potassium channel blocker. It have all the properties. If they ask you, tell me one drug which is having all properties of antiarrhythmic drugs. That's amiodarone. Okay, Ami amiodarone. Okay, so amiodarone is a drug of choice for ventricular tachycardia, stable ventricular tachycardia. But don't forget, whenever, please concentrate, whenever there is ventricular tachycardia post TMI, if they are asking about post TMI ventricular tachycardia, the drug of choice is lidocaine. If they ask you, stable ventricular tachycardia, in a stable VT, the drug of choice is amiodarone. Amiodarone is a wide spectrum antiarrhythmic drug. Okay, amiodarone, Amy Ido, see, Ido is there, right? IDO. Something like iodine, right? Amiodarone is a one drug which causes hypothyroidism as well as hyperthyroidism. Both it will cause thyroid abnormalities. Okay. And amiodarone will prevent the primary atrial fibrillation. Okay. It will prevent the atrial fibrillation. How to prevent the atrial fibrillation? Amiodarone. Now, rate control in atrial fibrillation is rate control, a small all, as well as Vrapamil, as well as Vrapamil. Okay. Ibutilide. See, we have discussed ibutilide is a Class 3, okay, class 3 antiarrhythmic drug, that's a potassium channel blocker. Ibutilide will control rhythm, it will help in controlling the rhythm of atrial fibrillation. Rate control is esmolal vrapamil, rhythm control is ibutilide, okay, rhythm control is ibutilide. How to prevent, how to prevent atrial fibrillation? Amiodarone, amiodarone, okay. Now, let's discuss about the class 4 antiarrhythmic drugs which are calcium channel blockers. What are the examples of calcium channel blockers? Calcium channel blockers include vrapamil. Now what they will do? See, these are the calcium channel blockers. Now calcium is very very important. Okay, calcium is very very important for the which activity? Calcium is now very very important for the depolarization. Depolarization in a SA node. Depolarization in a SA node. Now it will take a lot of time for the depolarization to occur. See, now this is something normal. Black is something normal. Okay, now please see here the it's taking a lot of time for the depolarization instead of like you know depolarization uh, happening at this phase now it's taking a lot of time for the depolarization okay now vrapamil it's going to act on the SNO it will increase as the time time of depolarization calcium is not going into the cell so it will take a lot of time for the depolarization to occur okay important point about the vrapamil is used to control the rate it is used to control the rate in atrial fibrillation okay so with this we have completed the with this we have completed the Antiarrhythmic drugs. Okay, Wagen's Williams classification of antiarrhythmic drugs. Now, in the next video, let's start with the topic of cardiac cycle. Hope the video is helpful. Thank you.